Welcome to the third section for stress analysis on this bracket. Our forces is missing because we need to enter back into stress analysis. Let's go stress analysis or you can go through environments and then select stress analysis. Do not create a new study. Why? Because you can see that there is already a study, static analysis. I'm looking for a factor of safety between 2 and 3 for my bracket. That factor of safety is based on the industry you work in. They will know which factors of safety they work with, but if you are the sole designer, you can choose your own factor of safety to make your design safe. But also look at which industry is this machine part going to operate in. Let's go. There's our mesh view. We're currently at 0 0.025. That's the optimum, more or less, to be able to get the best results. So we'll be leaving the average element size at 0 0.025. Next step, let's simulate. We've got 51,83 on the von Mises stress. First principle, 54.28. Third principle, 5.37. Displacement shows you that it's 0 0.013 millimeters maximum at the red area. Okay. Let's go look at the factor of safety. Minimum 6,75 min. That shows you this whole system is over designed. I'm looking to work between 2 and 3. So let's go look at where the factor of safety is 6,75. We can see the blue area is 15. So I can change geometries on the blue area and save some material. If the structure needs to be light, it will help a lot to refine it in this way. Let's first see if we can bring that down to the proper factor of safety. I can see here that I'm having that area and I'm going to say finish analysis. I'm going to go back where that area has been looked at. Double click on the sketch. I can see that there we have a diameter of 16 that I cannot change. That's where my shaft will be, but I can change this part. And I will be going to, let's say, 22. You'll get a feel for what's happening as you go along. Right click, finish the sketch, go back into stress analysis, environments, stress analysis. You can see your static analysis is still there. Simulate again and then run. There we got 93.01. Anyway, let's go to the factor of safety. We got 3,76. We can go a bit finer. So I'll be going back. Finish analysis. Double click on my sketch. And I'm going to go to, let's say, 20. 20.5. Right click finish. Stress analysis. Simulate. And run. Fact of safety. We've got three. I'm happy with three. I think that works out. So this shows you that that part of your bracket has been refined to the fact of safety that you want. But here we still got 15. It's a waste of material and material strength. So if you want to, you can go back and refine it further. Let's say if you use this part in an aircraft, you would have to make it as light as possible. But in some cases, it's easy just to use it like this. But let's go and refine it further. Finish analysis. I'm going to go look at the sketch again. And I'm going to remove the 60. 
let's say I'm going to make this 8 millimeters. I'm not going to go all the way. Let's reconstrain that part. Now it's 53. And right click, finish, stress analysis, simulate. Just look at it part there, it's still totally blue. The factor of safety is still more than 15. But we're happy. We're saving some material there. It brings down the cost of the part. That's one of the things we're looking for. Safety first and then costs afterwards, which is very important. Okay, let's go look at these webs. Do we really need them? Let's say finish. Let's go see which sketch do they contain. Okay, there we go. Let's delete all these drawings for the web. Right click finish. They have to disappear, accept. And it's done. Let's go and do a stress analysis on them. Let's go look at the factor of safety again. 2.97, that's still fine. We can click on visibility. If share sketch doesn't appear, if we extrude, and we're going to put back double extrude. Seventy once more. Sorry, we'll be going at sixty, and then we'll create a gap in the center of forty. Cut and okay. Right click. We can go back to stress analysis. Simulate. We will need to look at the forces again. Let's suppress this load. And start a new load, bearing load one and two, and we will be adding our five kilo newton there, and say apply, simulate, run. Effect of safety. 1.97 I can do with it for me that's fine so now we can see that we have refined our bracket to this extent and you can save a lot of material based on what we've designed here okay this bracket has been optimized to the level where you will have a safe design a design that will last if it has been tested on that factor of safety in the industry and you are ready to go as far as that that's concerned you can still go back and change it if you're not happy with it you can still go back and go look at the extrusion you've done extrusion number seven You can go to 65 and say OK. 
go back to stress analysis and then simulate again run effect of safety is now 2.5 so what have we done we've chosen a material and all we've done is just altered the areas the geometry okay the volume of the part so stress is equals to force over area we have the material which is the actual stress that we have that the material can withstand then we have the geometry the larger the geometry the less the stress and also the higher the factor of safety so to reduce it you have to reduce the geometry to get the factor of safety much lower okay to increase it you have to increase the geometry so these are directly proportional to one another thank you very much now from this you can go and produce the